think here. Yeah. So what we are doing here now, we are we have copied we copied the HANA files, HANA installation. This is called the HANA 2.0 installation. But to perform the SAP installation the first, to perform the S4 HANA, mm -hmm. S4 HANA 2022, that is the SAP application we are going to install. So we are going to install this one, right? They are going to install this one. So on top of on top of HANA DB, HANA database, HANA database, right? So S4 HANA 2020, S4 HANA is the different, 2020 is the version here, right? So HANA is the database, don't confuse, S4 HANA is the application, same as like here we have ECC, so NetWeaver, CRM, SRM, like that applications, we have the S4 HANA system. So this we are going to install on the HANA database. So to perform this one, we already discussed about the hardware requirement and software requirements and all these things, right? So we have to, we have to all these things we have to install on the, the operating system is called the, so Linux. So Linux operating system, either Red Hat Linux or Susi Linux, we can install it. So, okay, Red Hat Linux or Susi Linux for the HANA database, that one. Before that, so they are the mandatory file systems are slash HANA data, so slash HANA log folder, we have to mount this one as well, but it's not required. So slash HANA data, slash HANA log, and slash HANA shared and root. So, and USRSAP, USRSAP, these are the file systems are required. Mandatory file system should be in the separate mount points for the HANA database, separate mount points for the HANA database. So same as like you can see here, you can see here we have the separate mount point, this one. So we have the separately created the mount point root, USRSAP, slash HANA data, log, shared, but log and shared in our case, we are not created, why? Because this, we, this is training system. So remaining all of the, SAP OS related file system. So that's enough. So now what we are going to do now. So now to perform this SAP and SAP installation, first we need to perform the HANA DB installations. HANA DB installations, right? So that HANA DB installations, we'll see where it is available. Okay, we'll see the where it is available. It is available in the, so I'm just using the RM command. I removed this one. Okay, so now we can see here. So I'm going to the slash HANA data CD. So the, the folder name where we have placed the HANA database, see here. So here you can see CD SAP, so HANA database. So in this folder, we have the binary, we have the binary survey. So to install the HANA database, to perform the HANA data, HANA installation, what we have to do, the first you need username is called the root user. We have to perform the installation using the root user. And also the tools like installation tools, HDB LCM tools. So using the HDB LCM tools, we have to perform the HANA installation. HANA installation, HDB LCM tools. So here, three types we can use it, this tool. Three usage is the three types we can use it. One is the command prompt mode, command prompt mode. The second one is the GUI mode. The third one is the browser mode, web mode. So like that, if you see here, command prompt mode means there is a file is called the HDB LCM, right? GUI mode is called the HDB LCM GUI, right? And also web mode is called the HDB LCM web. So these are the three files are located in the every HANA binary. You can see here HDB LCM web, HDB LCM GUI, HDB LCM. So these are our there. So when they have introduced these tools means a very important point. So after, after HANA 1.0 SPS 10 onwards, SPS 10 onwards, SAP introduced the HDB LCM tools. So before that, so we have the installation tools are called the, we have installation tools are called the SAP 
INST, SAP, INST. These are the tools we have. These are the tools we have. So these are the HDB LCM tools we have. So after 1.0 onwards, so we have to use the HDB LCM tools. Either you can use the command prompt mode to do the installation, GI mode and web browser mode. So GI mode, it will graphical, it will open the one, uh, it will open the, if you set the environmental variable, it will open the one GUI, there we have to perform the, so this installation. Then LCM web mode means it will open the browser link, it will open the link in the browser. So that link we have to open in the browser so that it will ask the commands, but always we have to use the root user. It's a very important question. Which user we have to perform the installation? Which user we have to perform the install? Yeah. Always everything here going smooth means somewhere, somewhere, and disturbance will pass. Okay, so here, see here, HDB, LCM, GUI, web, all, all three are there here. So this setup is for the same for the installation for the purpose only. INST, we used the old one, right? Uninst, uninst means uninstallation. So if you want to do the uninstallation of the SAP, ANA database, you can use this one. If you want to upgrade UPD file, you can use it for the upgrade. Right, so these are the so how these files you got it. So we have to we have downloaded the HANA software. Yesterday we have downloaded the HANA software, right? IMDB server we have downloaded. We need to extract it. The SAR files we have to extract it. So we have to extract it using the SAP car command. We have to extract the all the softwares. So normally the zip files are there then we will unzip it, right? Right click and we will unzip, unzip it. Same as like here also, so we have to, so uncarry, extract it. Maybe in our language, we will extract the SAR files. How to do this means there is a command, iPhone XVEF and file name, we have to use it. File name, we have to use this one. So maybe we want to me to show how to extract the SAR files. So we can see in our ANA database, maybe log in with the root, So here, okay. so here we have the media. Okay, so here we have the IMDB server file is there. So then here just dot slash dot slash SAP car iPhone XVF any file any file any SAP really this is one of the interview question they have asked in the two days back one person how to extract the files SAP files. What is the extension of the SAP file? Dot SAR. So this dot SAR. Dot SAR means SAP archive. Okay, SAP archive. Normally dot PDF, dot zip, dot tar. Right. Same as like SAP related files are the dot SAR. We need to extract this one. So any file we have to use this command. So that will be that will be extracted. That will be extracted. Okay. So now I'm extracting. Maybe Padam, sorry. Some permission issue. What I what I did is CH mode. We discussed it, right? Give the permission. Maybe I'm giving the so triple seven permission. Triple seven means full permission I'm giving. Then I'm extracting the file here. You can see I'm extracting the file. See here. So it is creating the one file slash AP HANA database file. It is creating then. So folder it is creating, then it is extracting the all the files here. It is extracting the all the files in the system. So it is extracting the all the files here, right? So that is the thing here. So once it is extracted, see here another database file is created. So it is extracted the all the files here. Here installation, we need to start with the HDB, LCM or GUI app mode. So we'll, we'll go with the LCM command prompt mode that you know, right? So HDB. LCM dot slash HDB LCM. I am in the root user. I am installing this one. Okay. So do you want to specify what is the version of the HANA database? HANA 2.0 SPS 05 patch level 9, which means revision is the 59 revision we are installing, right? So then it is asking 
do you want to specify the additional component location so you want to specify the additional component location yes no so by luckily answers it will in the open bracket in the close bracket it will take the default answers so if you don't type it will automatically it will take the no so what you are going to do here so listen carefully what you are going to do here so you want to upgrade the existing one no i don't want to touch the hdb what you want to do i want to install the new database that is called the index 2 we have to use it so just click the 2 enter so just click 2 and enter now we got the error so what it is saying there is a signature file signature dot smf file got missed cannot be found in the system so this is the known error to exclude this one to to, for, to exclude this one what sap is saying you can ignore this arm by passing the ignore option which means just you can type maybe you can use the iphone iphone ignore check underscore signature file so i am passing the one argument here so which is like so don't check the signature file like that i am just passing the one argument here then we won't get this error normally when you download you will get the so one zip file under the zip file you will get the signature dot smf file sap signature file so but here we don't have the signature file here so that's the reason so it got failed but we have the solution to bypass the argument so then we have ignored that one now what you are going to do just to two two means install right so we are doing the installation now here so select the index select the action index 2 it is asking 2 means installation so what is the what is the installation path it is asking what is the installation path it is asking so so same we have the same installation path slash ana shared right whatever the we have the file systems we discussed all the file systems will come now right slash ana shared right then just click on the okay button then what is the local host name same local host name see as i mentioned right the answer whatever the questions it is asking the answer also will be displayed in the same if it is the correct just you need to just press enter if it is not correct you need to enter the thing suppose it is the correct maybe you can enter the thing here not a problem but answer already displayed there so you no need to enter it again so no so what is the hana system sid you are going to install it what is the sid you are going to install it so that here i am typing the s4h s4 hana why because we we are we planned like separate mount point for the s4 hana right so we planned this one so s4h is the so s4h is the our hana database sid what is the instance number what is the instance number for the hana database so instance number means we already discussed about this one what is the sid right what is the sid so what is the technical names what is the sid what is the instance number what is the host name host name means computer name linux name right instance number means 00 to 99 we can take it any number you can put it sid means any sid we can put it but we are installing the s4 on a database right that's why i put s4h i put it so simply understanding s4 on a hana database so s4 and something like that to simply understand i put the this one here right so same as like here so sir it's automatically taken the 0 1 side 0 1 0 1 right why not 0 0 so 0 0 it's already taken for the there is a one more database before that we installed that is called the hdb so it's already taken so 0 1 we have to give it now or you can take the one more like 10 10 also you can give it or 11 12 whatever the instance number you can provide to the here then default okay so what is the usage here what is the system you are developing here you are installing is the custom development server test server production maybe production just click the one button right why because automatically the index has taken here four which means custom so but we need production just we are setting here right it's production so just we are creating the role here okay so do you want to enable the data and log volume encryption okay just click on the okay button so 
do you want to data volume location so log volume location right data volume and log volume location so same so so same slash na data slash na log slash na shared and a root file system and uh, now we will get the scp usr scp as well now you will get the usr scp file system also here just you need to click on just enter 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 now it is asking the password password of the s4h area here in the hana when you are doing the hana installation so here the hana os level users will be created os level users will be created what are those os level users here what are the os level users here so here one os level is for the sid adm user one db user will be created that is called the system user will be created so suppose your sid is the s4p then s4p adm so your sid is the s4h then s4h adm one sid will be one user will be created for the database os level activities so database level activities one system will be created right you can see here what is the password it is asking right then i am i am giving the same password here okay same password i am putting here then so then usr sap sid so same file system is creating here right then so what is the login shell this is the login shell automatically it will take it's a linux related so what is the group 1005 automatically it's taken so what is the system password so system password means so same thing like uh, same we are giving the password why because after the database installation so we have to we have to after the database installation so uh, we have to log into the database level we have to do the our administration work the first time you are logging you don't have any user id and password right in that case we have we have one user is creating during the installation itself right so then the last step restart the system after the reboot suppose in case any linux system suppose rebooted so after the reboot all services will be stopped right so which means after the reboot you want to start immediately you want to start the yes for an system yes you want to start it then you can type yes no no i have to manually start means just you can type so just you can say so no or yes you can type it reboot the system after the machine restart restart the system so which means your s4h system s4 ana will be started automatically after reboot after the reboot it will start automatically then just press y enter then summary before the execution so it's a summary whatever the inputs we have given so it's uh, whatever the inputs we have given so this is the same thing here whatever the inputs we have given same here see here so same installation path sid instance number everything we have given now now suppose i have wrongly given i want to disconnect now means do you want to continue no you want to continue yes you can type it click on the okay button then hana installation will be started so very simple hana installation is very simple compared to the sap hana installation is very 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 simple see here now hana db is getting installed now hana db is getting installed now see here so this is the way we have to do the our installation so here to summarize to summarize what we have done now so we have os level we have mounted the all the file systems required file systems actually we would have to mount this one as well slash na so log s4h as well mahesh but so we missed that one we have to create one more and we have to mount it but somehow we missed that one so yes then after that slash na so data we we created this is fine but log we have missed to mount it that log folder we create one more partition that would be very nice actually so that's not a problem then after that ana software ana installation with root user we have to perform it here important point is the root user so root user you have to start the installation the tools which you are using is the hdb lcm tools it will come as part of the installation software so you will get the software dot sar dot sar but here here so how to uncare it using the sap car 
SAP car command you have to SAP car iPhone XVF. So XVF means extract verbose file. So in the one of the interview, they have asked a question. What is mean by XVF? Extract, extract verbose file. This is the verbose file. So we have to extract in the verbose file here. So it is extracting the verbose file here. So space file name. Then it will be extracted. Then after that, we can start the installation, right? So then whatever the we have started, see here it is getting installed here. So first it is preparing the packages, then creating the system, then it is extracting the softwares and everything, right? So it will take few minutes. It will be very fast actually, not like SAP installation, five hours, six hours, just it will maybe it's a maximum 20 minutes. So it will complete the installation. Yes, uh, any questions from anyone? Yes, Mahesh. Uh, actually, yesterday I attended an interview. After uh, uncurring the files, which file format will get this interview? Dot Linux level, right? So Linux means all the files are like dot sh type. So Windows dot exe, Linux means dot sh. Same, it's known, known issue, known one. When we are doing this uh, kernel upgrade, right, we'll uh, uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, download dot uh, SAP exe, SAP exe DB will download, right? Yes, yes. Those are the Linux, yeah. level, for Linux level binaries you have to download. SAP exe DB, yeah, yeah. SAP exe DB, not uh, operating system based. So each operating system, you have the separate exe file, you have to download it. After anchoring, we'll get that uh, SH files, okay, right? Yes, yes, you're right. Yes, right. For, suppose SAP, okay, let me show you here. See, so here we are doing the installation. So kernel, suppose you asked me the kernel, right? So few people, so who don't know about this one, just ignore it, not for you. You will get this option as well. So kernel, so kernel files, suppose you are asking about the kernel, right? So if you go to the kernel, So this is a service marketplace guys. So we know, so I think almost you guys know about the service marketplace. So we already discussed about, go to the software and packages. Here you see the kernel, kernel means K. So here in the kernel, you see here uh, 64 bit, suppose the example 64 bit here. So in the 64 bit version, you see the suppose 753, take example. Here you have the kernel files based on the operating systems. You have the windows, windows.exe files will be generated. The Linux, Linux, AX, AX. So whatever the operating, wherever you are going to do the kernel upgrade, that related operating system related files and that related database files, you have to download it. It's not one file for the all the operating system. So individual file for the each operating systems, you have to download it. It is linked but, to Unix, it will be a dot .sh file. .sh, dot .sh, yes. So your common, like uh, it's like a morning shift, guys. So the common, so maybe uh, 9, 9, 9 a.m. batch, and you are not reached up to that point of time. Just want to involve you now yourself. So the nine, seven o'clock guys. So the morning shift guys who are the learning the HANA database. So we have our common HANA database, SAP runner, right? You can log in for there. So we have the slash media file is there folder. In that folder, we have the HANA database. So you can practice there, right? You can practice there. You can, whatever you want, you can practice there. You can extract it, you can practice it. Maybe what I will do, I will rename this one. Just to SAP car, we can rename it, right? Just you can rename to the SAP car, you can rename it, I can rename it. So you can use the SAP car, iPhone XVF and file name, it will create the one folder. Under this one, we have the ANA database. So yeah, like this, you can do the your practice weekend, you can do the your practice on the system. So as I mentioned, right? So they are the, after the, during the HANA installation, during the build, during the build means we are building the one house. Ana database means we are building the one house. Once the how during the build, one family will be created, right? The family members, seven family members. 
right the seven family members will be created here same like see here so we have the diamond compile server name server pre processor web dispatcher especially for the so hana db guys so this one so see here all the seven processor creating here these all are the seven family members here in the database level all hana yes <laughs> Yeah, Same. here these are the processor creating now. These are the HANA processor creating now. These are the HANA processor creating family members, whatever we discussed, right? Since so family, we have the father, mother, child, sons, whatever they are there. Same here in HANA database also, all the processor creating here. So this is this is the last step for the installation. So once this process has started, HANA DB will be installed, right? So this is the HANA installation. It's very simple. The only thing is you need to get the hands. So like something like what are the inputs we are giving here? What is the SID you are giving? So that SID can give anything. Instance number, you can take anything. So that data volume, log volume, location, anything you can give it. That Okay, anything you can give it. That only thing is what is happening here? What are the users are creating? Which user we need to start it? What tools we have to use it? So like that, you need to use it. So this is about the HANA installation. So once the HANA installation is done, then after that, we can start the application installation on top of the HANA database. So our SAP architecture is like presentation layer, database application layer, and a DB layer. So without DB, your application, it won't run, right? Basement. So now we have built the basement, which means the database we have built it now, right? Database we have built it now. On top of this one, we, are we have to install the S4 HANA. 2020 SAP application, we have to install it. So how to do this one? That is in the, our next task. So first database. So database, we have done the database. So database, it's almost completed. See, it's almost it's going to be complete. So started all the process, it's almost going to complete. It's almost completed. Then after that, what next? Next one is the, so our, so SAP installation. That, that we will perform. Meanwhile, what I will do, so I will copy the all the SAP related softwares, everything to the so operating system level. I will keep it ready. Then uh, we'll connect again after 30 minutes or 40 minutes after the quick lunch, sorry, break. I have to rush for the school. I will I will drop the my kids at school and I will come back. Then we'll connect at exactly at nine. Is it okay? 45 minutes break, then we'll connect and we'll start the SAP installation. Is it okay for everyone? Yes, sir. Okay. 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 Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So you also get like some uh, tiffin break, uh, refresh, then uh, we'll connect again exactly at so nine o'clock. Meanwhile, I will copy the all the media, everything to the, so here, everything to the, so in our location, Yes, in our location, I can copy. So whoever wants to do the, whoever wants to do the, uh, maybe uh, our morning shift guys, especially HANA DB guys, you can do in the SAP HANA box, log into the SAP HANA dedicated to you. So then you can log in, you can practice. Media is available here. So, but again, we'll connect at nine o'clock. Okay. 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 So, sure. okay. I'm quickly doing the again installation of the HANA database again. Okay, you can see the data I copied to the here. So, so slash HANA database. So quickly we can do the installation. So with HDB LCM tools we can do the installation. So here I find I find ignore check underscore. Uh, yeah, the score file we are giving. So why because we don't have any signature file here. Yeah. Why because individually we downloaded the file. Yeah. 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 Is it mandatory to use HDB also, or we can use any of GUI? Any of you can use it. Either GUI also you can use it. But now we need to set the environmental variable X clock. We need to set X server. We need to set some 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 work we have to do. 
instead of that so we can do the command prompt also recommended by the sap also instead of doing all these HDB. things hdb also is recommended to by sap yeah yeah command prompt mode sap recommended to do the command prompt mode which is like oh, this mode hdb lcm mode this signature file also re uh, re uh, repeatedly will get us uh, like no, no, no. normally uh, if you are doing individual like some patching that time you will get but normally when you are downloading the zip file when we are downloading the zip file from the service marketplace that time sap will give us the signature file so that so we won't get any issues but it's a optional only signature file we can skip it that one now how we skip it out you have skipped we can skip it that one so same as like we can skip it so i'm giving the s4h and the instance number 10 is it okay right for everyone instance number 10 just for safer side i have given that 10 so so here slash not data so see here the data volumes taken why because most of the data will stay under the data volume only so the first main memory after that it will be reloaded to same data will copy copy to the data volume that's why we separately in doing the mount points for the slash not data slash not lock okay so <clears throat> passwords passwords we are setting now uh, sir i have doubt like uh, usually when we work in organization so is it a basis guy work you know who do this partition and all uh, no linux administrator infra guy infra guy will do the this partitions and everything that is the work duties of the so their responsibility so that is the their duties so that's why they have to do the, all these things and what do the lcm actually mean like do we have any abbreviation for it <clears throat> yeah, yeah i will come to this part so now it is installing right yeah now quickly i will discuss about the so what does it mean okay so uh, this is the hana database life cycle management tools lcm means life cycle management tools hana database life cycle management tool hana database life life cycle so management life cycle management tools hdb lcm tools using these tools we can perform it but recommended to perform in the cmd mode command prompt mode so why because when you are doing it in the browser mode or ga mode ga mode also we can perform it <clears throat> but uh, sometimes it's it's need some again you need to set the x clock and everything instead of that one you can perform here in the voice level if you perform in the browser mode also sometimes browser to your operating system sometimes connection may broke that time installation will crash it will make slow so that's why sap recommended to have so separate uh, like using the in the <clears throat> using in the so here like uh, yeah ravi has a question command prompt mode yes yes that's right yes see in interview they will ask this three methods or they will ask like we can tell any which method the... so which method you use command prompt mode so why it is best method why because we are doing in the same operating system level so can we do in the browser mode yes can we do in the ga mode yes we can do so but they will ask to explain those things as well i'm no, no, they... no 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 actually those things also it's just very same in the command okay. prompt mode also it's the same in the same 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 options you will get please enter the passwords of the this users then you have to enter it so but screen is different you will get the same options for there as well in the window also you will get the same option then enter the data volume location just click next then enter this one this one like this you will get the same options yeah but we have to set the environment the variables right if if you yes. are using gui yes yes we have and also we need to install the x11 x11 tools x clock then that we have to do that one instead of doing all this work and wasting the time we can do in the g command prompt mode this is what sap recommended to do that and we are getting some default values like uh, uh, for example do you want to continue uh, on some other places we are getting some path like slash and data slash and yeah yeah everywhere you will get this one actually 
ana installation ana installation is very simple why because the answer also answer also it will show here if you would like to continue just enter if you don't continue maybe if you want to enter the manual path different path you can enter the different path as well same path will be coming both uh, yeah yeah it is a default path actually it's a default path it will take it out as per the installation no you don't want to give the sap recommendation you want to give the your own recommendations means that time you can set the your own path you can set it out otherwise sap will take the default options same default ask, uid default so instance i'm asking i'm asking like uh in command prompt we are getting default uh, paths like slash and data yes, yes. as well in gui and uh, you, will, you will get the same you will get the same you will get the same options in the browser mode also you will get the same default options sir you mean that like path has to be created prior to installation or separate mount points oh. we should be required separate mount points should be required if you don't need separate mount point also that is fine but non production training purpose that is fine but sap recommended to have separate mount point for the ana slash ana data slash to avoid any io issues sap recommended to create the separate mount point for the this four five file systems separate mount points how we created now right so morning onwards we are struggling right same as like same sap recommended to create so what happens or if i don't create nothing will happen <clears throat> only the performance issues you may face it suppose everything under the root suppose tomorrow in their maintenance activity tomorrow some other activity that time so suppose tomorrow log data folder is full so and there under the root folder everything will be filled so we are in the situation which one is filled and everything right so and also io issues when now the data inserting from the database level to os level if you are say if everything is in the same root folder we may get some io latency issues input output io means data insertion if you have the separate mount point directly it will come to the this mount point and it will insert into the in this mount point if everything under the root what will happen nothing will happen we have done right we have already <clears throat> one more hana db on the one more ana db on the hdb right hdb this is the hdb so slash ana there is a one more mount point we created slash na right so under the under the root so under the slash ana data slash ana data so we created the hdb under this one we have one folder is there so nothing will happen here so there is no issues nothing will happen the only thing is so the only thing is here so it will be full it will be filled so io issues we may get the other other issues as well so that's why sap recommended to have the separate mount points for the so hana file systems yeah this the processor getting installed so while it is getting installed what i can do so see line next one so i will copy the sap softwares to in this location okay so we have sap softwares here under the e drive s4 na 2022 so i will copy all these two under user sap so s4 p <coughs> i'm copying the all this software to the here client uh, server so oh, yeah so what are the softwares we required for the sap so for hana we know hana db software hana client especially for the sap what are the software same as like sap we are doing hana installation we done right 
so just we have done the ana installation is starting the pages is uh, installation is done then uh, from packages python packages some other packages is installed is done so now process are starting mode now ana process are starting mode now so it's doing the installation so that is done then what next now so now we are planning to install the sap application as well on hana database not only hana on top of sap application also we are planning to discuss right so in this case what we have to do so we need to download the softwares softwares we have to download it like sap how we download it for the for sap sorry hana same as like sap also we need to download the softwares so what softwares we required for the sap here for sap we required already know you guys know about this one almost you guys know right so we need as wpm right software provisioning manager then exports then kernel when uh, kernel db db we already doing db client that is also already we are downloading and the sixth one is the sap host agent so these are the six softwares we required to install the s4 ana system like not only s4 ana sap system uh, any sap uh, system uh, same as in that uh, windows also these softwares only yes yes same anywhere any anywhere anywhere you need same softwares either the windows or linux whatever it may be either the crm srm bw finance vico sd mm sales whatever you are going to install it car sfin s4 ana whatever you are going to weaver whatever you are going to install it you need same softwares you need same software hello yes hello yes yes mahesh uh, sir uh, could you please explain uh, about uh, um, sap marketplace of i mean uh, uh, maintenance planner <coughs> where we can download because last time i downloaded from maintenance planner yes 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 so once you log into the that... support.sap.com here software downloads you have to go to the software downloads under the software downloads so under the software this is the support.sap.com right support.sap.com so under the support.sap.com all sap software any sap product we have sap product like ecc so bw and many systems are there right so anything is under the by alphabetical index here suppose you want to hana softwares just click just click the hana h for hana right f means fiori e for erp so like that they have segregated the softwares in the alphabetical wise right then just you need to click the s4 hana now we want to install the s4 hana or mdm we can install the mdm tax we can install the tax calculations s4 hana just select the s4 hana software so whatever the softwares you are going to download now s4 ana softwares s4 ana exports then go to the here so we have the s4 ana right go to the select the s4 ana here we have the s4 ana versions here 19g 1808 2019 2020 2021 2022 so this is the latest one 2022 here installation automatic download so in this one you have the options so these all are the files so what we required exports so sap hana installation exports installation export same we downloaded right s4 core installation exports s4 core installation export same way we are downloading the software same way we are downloading the all the softwares then after that so same way same way we are doing now same way we are downloading the all the softwares we can download it see as for an exports export all the zip files we have to download it if you just click it it will be downloaded you have the some languages files also you need to install some languages you can install the languages also you can install it right this way you can uh, Ravi, we have to download all 69 uh, that export files oh uh, yeah all the files we have to download it so is there any uh, automatic like, uh, yeah any can... anyone will tell us to do the same version or do we get any requirement yeah, yeah, yeah we will get the requirement from the customer saying that so hi basis team could you please install the s4 hana 22 22 version or 2021 okay. version so linux team will build the 
Linux team or infra team, infrastructure team, they build the OS, they mount the all the file systems. If it, they don't know, they will ask basis team to assist. I basis team, we are going to install the HANA. What are the file systems you require to mount it? So we have to tell like, we need separate mount, mount points for the HANA. These are the file system mount points we require. Like that, we have to inform them and they will mount it. They will hand out the OS to us. Then after the turnwards, we have to load the patches. Then we have to do the installation. Okay. First HANA installation, same as like now we have to do the HANA installation. Then after that, so we have to load the SAP software. So this like SAP software before itself, we have to load it. Why? Because immediately we can complete the installation as well. But now we got the time to load it. Now we are doing the, we are loading the software here. We are uploading the software. We have downloaded in the, so we have downloaded all the softwares in the, so our Windows machine, Windows, from there, so we are moving to the Windows machine. Here are all these softwares. So kernel, these all are the kernel files. So and S4 and uh, exports and the host agent also not required actually. So all these files we required actually. That's why, so we have downloaded this one and we are moving to the, so operating system level we have moved here, right? Now, uh, sure. yes. Sir, uh, so if the organization having you no know, 1909 uh, version, so they need to upgrade for 2022. So yes. the same files will be required or? Uh, no, like, for upgrading, you don't require the same files. Upgrading it, you need different file section. And for what are the tools used for upgrades? Some tool. Some tool. Okay. Some tool. That we will discuss actually. That is also will be covered in the, our classes. Now we are in the installations, right? Installations, we have to use the SWPM tool, but this is the SAP installation tool. For the HANA, to summarize, we have HDB LCM tools that we know now. HDB LCM tool for the HANA installation, SWPM tool for the SAP installation. Now, after that, some tool, after a few days, you will get the some tool. Some tool is for the upgrading the, or updating the SAP systems. SAP in the SAP systems. So we will discuss about these two as well. So now we are installing, we are going to discuss about the SWPM tool, how to start the SWPM tool, how to launch the SWPM tool. Then after that, what inputs we have to give it, all these things we'll discuss. So, but for now, so we have to, so once softwares are loaded, then we have to discuss about the, these things. So, so here, this is the way we have to download the softwares actually. So let's suppose, if let's take example here, Let's take example here. By alphabetical index. So suppose kernel, suppose I want to download the kernel, just to select the kernel here. So select the kernel, maybe 64 bit, which whatever the bit, we have the 64, all operating systems are 64 bit code only, right? So which one you are going to install, which kernel you are going to install. So that kernel we have to download it. Otherwise, what will happen? Some tool will detect these issues. So you are not correctly downloaded the software, please download it correctly. So let's see what some tool will tell us. Why? Because instead of doing all these things at a time, we leave some of the softwares like this. We'll ask us some tool to explain what softwares they require. Like that, after that, we'll do the so we'll download it again, we have to install it. Right? Because some tool will ask us, will stop doing that phase. So we have to start the some tool now. So to start the some tool, the files we have to, we have downloaded the file as well. Some tool file also we downloaded, right? So if we go to the S4 and R, there is a some, these are all of the SAR files. See here, all are the SAR files. So here we have the some file, some folder, some file here, some file here, you can see some file. So this file, this file also SAR file, same as like HDB LCM dot SAR file, ANA database SAR file, same as like here SM 2.0, this is also SAR file. This is also, it's loading to the here. This is also loading to the here. Once it is loaded to the here, then we need to extract it. Then after that, once it is extracted, then we need to, so once it is extracted, then we can so extract the uh, SWPM tool, same as like database level, how we did it. Then after that, we can perform the installation. 
So how means let's let's wait for once it is completely loaded. Thirty percent. It's very slow. So after that you can see here. Here uh, our uh, another database is successfully installed. You can see here another database is successfully installed. You got the message. Your HANA database has been installed successfully, something like that. We got the message now. 